Welcome to another week of Adventure Camp Fox Explorers. It's me, Brianne, your camp counselor, here to help you take on a journey to a new destination. Today, we head to a place famous for kilts, bagpipes, and outstanding natural beauty. Scotland. Scotland is a country with lots of culture and tradition, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. So off we go. Scotland is located in Europe, and it is the northernmost country in the UK. Edinburgh is Scotland's capital city. Edinburgh is a very interesting city. Did you know the first city in the entire world to have what we know today as firefighters was Edinburgh? It also has one of the most famous castles in the entire country. Edinburgh Castle, which was actually built on top of an extinct volcano that is called Castle Rock. Edinburgh Castle receives almost 1.5 million visitors per year. It is also known to be one of the most haunted spots in Scotland. Do you believe in ghosts, Fox Floors? Even though Edinburgh is the capital of Scotland, Glasgow is the largest city. Other major cities include Aberdeen and Dundee. And Edinburgh Castle is not the only castle in Scotland. There are actually about 300 castles in Scotland, which equates to about one every 100 square miles. Scotland gets its name from an Irish tribe, the Scotty or Scots. In about the 5th century AD, they crossed from Ireland to Argyll in Scotland and set up their own kingdom. That means Scotland has been around for a long time, and they have a long history. Famous Scottish historical figures include William Wallace, Robert the Bruce, and Mary, Queen of Scots. Scotland's flag is called St. Andrew's Cross. It has a white cross on a blue background, which represents the cross of Scotland's patron saint, St. Andrew. The population of Scotland is 5.295 million people. The thistle is Scotland's national symbol, a prickly purple thistle to be exact. This kind of thistle grows throughout Scotland. It can grow to be five feet tall and is very strong due to the vicious spines that cover and protect it. Kinda like a porcupine. Speaking of animals, the national animal of Scotland is the unicorn. The unicorn has been the national animal since the 1300s and is even a part of the royal coat of arms. In Scotland, unicorn strength are thought to be untamable. They even have National Unicorn Day on April 9th. Even though you might not see actual unicorns in Scotland, you can see lots of other animals like the badger, gray seal, mink whale, red squirrel, bottlenose dolphin, and the Scottish wildcat. The bagpipe is a very famous musical instrument that is used in Scotland. The bagpipe was originally used to scare off the enemy during times of war. And because of this, it was actually banned in Scotland twice. Today, though, it's hard to think of Scotland without the bagpipes. The most played song on the bagpipes is Scotland the Brave. Ready for the word of the day, Fox Floors? The word of the day today is kerfuffle. Kerfuffle is used when talking about a disturbance or fuss. Do you have siblings that sometimes get into an argument? Well, this could be considered a carfuffle. The word carfuffle has been used in Scotland since around the 16th century. We're currently in the 21st century, and one century equals 100 years. That's a long time ago. Scotland includes over 700 islands. Scotland has an amazing coastline, as well as many lakes, mountains, and an abundance of islands off its mainland. 
over 790 to be precise. Gatlin is well known for its mountainous region, the Scottish Highlands. Ben Nevis is Scotland's highest mountain, standing at a height of 4,409 feet. It is also the highest mountain in Great Britain. Every year, around 400,000 people visit the mountain, and 100,000 of them climb to the top. Lakes in Scotland are also known as lochs. Probably the most famous of these is Loch Ness, where the Loch Ness monster has been spotted. Or has it? Have you ever heard of the Loch Ness monster, Fox Explorers? The Loch Ness monster, or as some people call it, Nessie, is a mythical lake creature that supposedly lives in Loch Ness. Nessie looks like part dragon, part dinosaur, with a long neck and tail, and flippers. There have been reports of Nessie sightings dating all the way back to 565 AD. But there is no hard proof of its existence. What do you think, Fox Explorers? Do you think Nessie exists? The Scottish people obviously enjoy train travel. The country has over 300 railway stations. Trains run over the famous Glenfinnan Viaduct. A viaduct is similar to a bridge, which is 1,000 feet long and over 100 feet tall. Scotland prides itself as the home of golf, and the sport was first played there over 600 years ago. Have you ever been golfing? What about mini golfing? Do you want to learn more? Time for a virtual scavenger hunt of Scotland. See if you can find the legendary Loch Ness Monster and check out a waterfall and mountain. As always, we have five things for you to find. Enjoy seeing some of the fun parts of Scotland, Fox Explorers. Click on the link in the post so you can complete your scavenger hunt. I know you all can do it. Do you have any questions about Scotland? Feel free to ask them in the comments below and us camp counselors are here and we will answer all of your questions. And make sure to tune in on Thursday so we can learn even more about Scotland and the Highland Games. See you later, Fox Explorers.